So now for a very brief description of a gas absorption process. <clears throat> to begin with, we have uh, two phases which are commonly the liquid phase and the gas phase. They are contacted in a uh, gas absor absorption column. We can find the liquid phase on top and the gas phase is usually situated at the bottom. And then inside the column, they are contacted and the uh, transfer of the solute is uh, done by means of mass transfer. The driving force for this, the transfer of the solute from the gas to the liquid phase is by the difference in their chemical potential or in the, uh, in the selectivity of the solute on where it is more soluble. And then as said earlier, the two phases are brought into contact. It could be more or less intimate and then afterwards, the liquid and the gas phases are separated by simple physical methods. As you can see in the illustration, the solute from the gas mixture is transferred into the liquid, liquid phase. And the end product that we want to have is that the, the phase which was initially uh, rich in the solute or the gas phase would then be depleted of the solute and that solute would be transferred to the liquid phase which will now become the uh, more of the solute rich. Now for a more in-depth discussion of the transfer that happens in uh, gas absorption, my group mate Aaron will discuss it. So for the principles of interface mass transfer, uh, we will look uh, into, into the uh, interaction between the liquid and the gas uh, in the interface. So assuming that solute A is diffusing from the bulk phase G to the liquid phase L, it must pass through a phase G through the interface and then into the phase L in a, in a series. So uh, concentra a concentration region must exist to cause this mass transfer through the resistances in each phase uh, as shown in this uh, figure. So the average or back concentration of A in uh, gas phase in mole fraction units is uh, denoted by YAG and where YAG is uh, equal to the uh, uh, pressure uh, the pressure at A over the uh, uh, atmospheric pressure and uh, XAL in the back liquid phase is in mole fraction units. So this is uh, uh, the where uh, YAG will uh, or the uh, mole fraction units of the gas phase and XAL will be the mole fraction of A in the liquid phase. So YAG decreases as it uh, goes into the interface or the uh, the boundary between the liquid and the gas phase, and the concentration of the liquid starts at uh, uh, XAL which is in the interface and falls into XAL. So at the interface, denoted by that blue uh, uh, color is where YAI and XAI are in equilibrium. So experimentally, the resistance at, uh, at the interface is negligible for most cases such as in gas absorption of most common gases such as from air and water and the extraction of organic solutes from one phase to another. So in the concept of the mass transfer using film mass transfer coefficient and interface concentrations, uh, there are two concepts, which is the equimolar counter diffusion, and the other one is the uh, diffusion to a stagnant phase. So here, uh, as uh, said earlier, uh, the concentration of G as it goes to the interface uh, falls to YAI, 
and uh, you can't be a more fraction of uh, solute A at the liquid phase will uh, uh, combine with uh, the most mole of solute in the gas phase of A. So for A, diffusing from the gas to liquid and B in the counter counter diffusion from liquid to gas, uh, we will uh, have this uh, relationship between uh, uh, the mole the mole fraction of the gas and the liquid interface. So here is the illustration of or the plot of uh, the mole of uh, the mole fraction of A in the liquid in the gas phase. So finding the negative ratio of K prime X and K prime Y will have this relationship and will have the equation of the slope. So at the back phase composition, that is at uh, point P, and in the interface composition that is at point M. So here are the uh, notations of K prime X and K prime Y and and A, which is the flux gas phase mass transfer co coefficient. So the driving forces are the concentration gradients uh, for the uh, equivalent counter diffusion. So uh, the diffusion to a stagnant, uh, these are uh, some of the relationships and equations. And almost the same a plot, uh, but it will have a different slope. So that will be uh, the slope, the equation of the slope, compared to the uh, equimolar counter diffusion slope. And for the analytical calculations, here's Jaja.